Hi students, we're going to be jumping back into Onshape here, uh, learning a few last advanced features. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to make a, an interesting shaped box really easily. Uh, so to get this started, you're going to need to log into Onshape and uh, go to the Create button up here and go to Document. And we can call this one just Box. Okay, and uh, this is going to happen in three different steps. The first step is going to be a sketch on the top work plane where we'll make the shape of our box. Then we're going to extrude that up, and then we'll do a shell operation to hollow it out. Okay, so the first step is the sketch on the top work plane. So we'll go up here and click on Sketch and the top work plane. And we could turn the visibility of the work planes off to uh, clean up our workspace here. It's always nice to look straight down at our work area. So you can either click on top or two finger or right click on this area and say view normal to the sketch plane. So we can look straight down at it. All right. So here is where the creativity part of this um, goes. So we want to create some sort of enclosed shape here. Um, and we know that's enclosed means that all parts are touching so that the inside turns gray. Uh, so I'm going to ask that you not use the rectangle or this uh, circle tools and instead uh, use yourself other drawing tools, including the line tool, uh, the arc tool, uh, the polygon tool, which I'll show you in a minute, or the spline tool. Um, so I'm actually going to make two boxes here just to show you two different ones we can do. Um, so uh, you can do whatever shape you want. So let's say I wanted to do like a line over here this way, and I can do like a duplicate line. I can even turn off the line tool and copy and paste that there. And I can shift this over till that looks good and click the center part here. So I've now got these two lines lined up and then maybe I can take a, uh, an arc, like a three point arc here and click here and here. And maybe drag that out a little bit and then do the same thing on this side. Oh, roughly around the same 0.7. And I have myself an enclosed shape there, which looks pretty good. Um, another option I want to show you, you only need to make one box, by the way, is to play with the polygon tool here. The polygon tool, um, you can choose here. You can pull out a polygon of a certain size. Um, and then when you let go, you have an adjustment on how many sides you want um, that uh, polygon to be. It can be as small as three to make a triangle. And then if you increase it, it gets really close to a circle with a lot of sides. So I'm gonna have something around eight sides, like an octagon. Click it and that locks into there, okay? So once you've got some sort of shape, you could draw a star, you could draw a heart, you could draw whatever you'd like, um, just something more interesting than a square or a circle. Um, and make sure that it is enclosed. Here are two different possibilities. Then we wanna finish off our sketch by clicking the green check mark. We've got our sketch done. Um, so that's part one, that was the hardest part. So congratulations on getting the hardest part done. Um, now we want to extrude our shape. I have two shapes because I'm making two different um, examples. When we extrude, it's also always a good idea to go into isometric view so we can see what we're doing in three dimensions. And remember the extrude button is right next to sketch. If you do not see the same buttons as mine, you forgot to close your sketch. So click that green X check mark to close the sketch. You can click on extrude and whatever shape you want and we can extrude it up. I'm going to actually make mine a little taller 
and uh, finish that off, I'm going to also extrude um, a, I'm going to extrude the other one as well um, here to extrude this one. Uh, faces of sketch one. Looks like I need to include this in my extrusion here. Here we go. Uh, let's see. I've never tried to extrude two shapes at the same time. That may not work. Let me try that one more time and extrude. And let's just see if I can extrude everything. There we go. That'll work. And I'll pull that up a little bit more. So I have I have two shapes I'm extruding here. Okay, so the last um, uh, the last operation here, once you've finished your extrusion, you can click that green check mark when it's the height you want it, is we want to do a shell operation. So a shell operation hollows it out for you. So it's not in this section that uh, is with extrude here, but in that next section of buttons, you'll see one that uh, looks like a box that's been hollowed out. If you click on that and click on the top face of your shape, um, then you have the ability to hollow something out. Um, you can change the direction, whether you want to hollow it out outwards or inwards. Um, I'm going to actually change the shell thickness here. Uh, I believe that's something I can type into here, 0.25, and I can make thicker walls if I want, um, oops, and I'm going to finish that one up, and I'm also going to do a shell operation on this one right here, and I'll maybe make that one 0.2. And um, so once you've got yourself one box of a shape you like and you finish your shell, you can go ahead and share it with me. And I hope you have some fun making yourself a box.